Good morning everyone. Um, thought I'd take the chance this morning um, to do a little bit of testing on the uh, Adjust the Wave Multi that I've been working on. Um, I've had this antenna designed um, probably for the last four or five months, but I've never actually tested it on the air. Um, all I've been testing so far is the uh, testing it as an Envis loop. Um, I know it's going to work as a vertical, no, no issues with that, but uh, well, let's show you the setup and um, we'll take it from there. So this is the Adjust the Wave Multi, so it's a multi-purpose um, Adjust the Wave antenna that, uh, that I have designed, it's only got one reel on it, somebody cutting the grass. Um, so it's got one reel on it and there's 60 metres of the wire on it. Um, so you can use it in a number of configurations, you could use it like a loop, how I've got it just here, you could use it as a... Um, as an end fed half wave if you connect a 49 to 1 unon on it um, you know there's there's various configurations and how I've got it connected up is I've got it obviously it's an end vis loop and this little box below it is actually a 2 to 1 ballon um, now when I first checked when I first checked the uh, the match it was it was way off as you could probably guess because it was a loop but when loops are quite close to the ground their impedance drops somewhat um, but it just it, it wasn't enough to get a 50 ohm match. So I've put this 2 to 1 instead of going for a 4 to 1. If the antenna was a good bit higher, then I'd imagine the 4 to 1 would actually be a um, a better match for it. So, these are poles. So I've got five of these poles, one with the adjust the wave on it itself. And then there's one, two, apologies for the sun, three, and four. And these are just... Um, Garden steaks. I got out one of my local uh, shops, B and M's or Home Bargains that we have here, and they were very, very cheap. I, th I only bought them because they were they were less than a pound. I think they were sixty pence or seventy pence, something like that. But very, very cheap and inexpensive, and it just allows you to uh, get the wire off the ground. Um, along with the the antenna itself, um, I've got my new um, IC705, and I've got that hooked up to a five amp hour um, SLA battery. Um, the band seems reasonably good shape but I think there's a, a Scandinavian DX contest um, so I've never actually tried the um, uh, adjust the wave multi on the air so we've only got 10 watts uh, so let's see if we can we can try and get some contacts and, and uh, christen the antenna Mike Mike Zero Oscar Papa X-ray Portable uh, Mike Mike Zero Oscar Papa X-ray Portable Good morning 59521 uh, Roger you're 59001 So what I've done is, there wasn't too much activity on 40 metres, I did work a station um, quite easily but it just wasn't, and obviously it's a Scandinavian contest, so what I've done is I've actually reconfigured the loop, I've made it into a 20 metre horizontal loop, and 20 metres, 20 metres, um, is actually pretty busy. So you can see the band scope there, so let's see if we can work uh, a few stations on 20 metres. Mike Mike Zero Oscar Papa X-ray Portable Oh, that's what's called. Mike Mike Zero Oscar, what is Alpha Papa so Portable? Uh, Oscar Papa X-ray, Oscar Papa X-ray Portable Oscar Papa X-ray Portable QSL, QSL 59002 379, thank you, 73. Thanks a lot, 73. Contest, X-ray, X-ray. X-ray portable. Uh, ending portable. Yeah, Mike, Mike, Zero, Oscar, Papa, X-ray portable. Uh, Mike, Mike, Zero, portable. Yeah, Mike, Mike, Zero, Oscar, Papa, X-ray. Oscar, Papa, X-ray portable. Uh, Mike, Mike, Zero, Oscar, Papa, X-ray portable, 590103. QSL 1003, you're 590003, the, the number again, please. Yeah, zero zero three, number three. Uh, zero zero three. QSL, QSL seventy three. Thank you, Sugar Charlie three Alpha. Mike, Mike zero, Oscar, Papa, X ray portable. Mike, Mike zero, Oscar, Papa, X ray slash portable. You're five nine number three eighty eight three eight eight. Yeah, QSL, QSL. You're five nine zero zero four five nine number four. So I just want to share how quiet um, this antenna is. Apologies for the sun there, I've got the cinema back there. If you look at the station here, 
and there's absolutely no noise at all. Really, really quiet. Um, and I mean, I'm not in the most um, quiet location. And my house is just over here. Um, but there is some houses in the in the vicinity. Yeah. But the the band is really really busy with them. Um, obviously the Scandinavian contest. But the problem I've got is here yeah, I'm actually fighting with the fighting in the pile up with the kilowatt stations and I, I just can't compete with um, 10 watts. But I have worked a few stations there, a couple in Sweden, a um, couple in Finland. So no, I'm really really happy. So I, th I would call that a, su a successful test. Unfortunately, unfortunately I can't stay much longer. The station manager. And the junior station manager is going to be home very, very shortly, so I'm going to start making tracks. So yeah, really, really impressed with the um, the 705, um, and of course the um, adjust the wave multi. So it's a really, really versatile antenna. And I think I'm, I'm going to be using a lot of this. So yeah, we're going to wind things up. Um, it's been a good little, good little test. Um, second time actually making a QSO or second uh, outing actually using a QSO. Um, I was in the garage. You've probably seen that video a couple of nights ago. There, I hooked up to the um, uh, the adjuster wave essential on the five meter windjammer pole. Um, and obviously today I'm on the uh, adjuster wave multi, so it was good to get it tested on the air for the first time. Um, so. Yeah, we're going to call it a day, and uh, if you like the videos, please um, think about subscribing and hit that like button. It would be very much appreciated. So, till the next video, 73 for now.